before coming to uh, my place, um, I suffered with addiction, addiction um, depression, social anxiety. I would isolate and uh, close myself off from the world. Um, when my mum passed away a couple of years ago, it led through a sequence of events uh, that would ultimately lead to my rock bottom. Um, I landed myself in a lot of trouble and um, I realised that I didn't want to live like that anymore. So I had to change who I was and rebuild myself from the ground up. Um, one of um, a woman who was assigned from the Richmond Fellowship uh, to help me through them early days uh, recommended um, my place as a way to help me grow and develop and um, after much convincing I decided why not after all I had nothing to lose and everything to gain. Those moments uh, whilst volunteering that uh, um, I have I have problems. I, uh, I question my ability, my self worth, and um, what I was doing. Um, I feared that I would never be able to get any further, and uh, I also I needed to do was speak to volunteers, speak to other people, uh, my coordinator and uh, she offered lots of encouragement and support and offered me tools on how to uh, how to expand my skills how to um, get them get them going basically one of them well the main one was uh, social skills it's how to interact how to start conversations and um, how conversations flow you know how to keep them running and uh, this was all it's all new and it still is new but it just shows that the amount of support that, that's on offer it's uh, it's really encouraging coming into my place um, I had I lacked social skills it'd been years since I'd actually um, spoke to people in conversations and in my place, it's uh, it's helped me um, become more confident around people. I've been able to practice my social skills in uh, in a safe environment, um, and volunteering, giving back in a way where it's uh, it's less structured, so I don't feel the stress um, or the anxiety of of um, kind of structured volunteering it's uh, made transition back into life uh, far easier and um, it certainly helped my confidence and self-esteem today i'm still sober um, i'm still working on my skills uh, becoming better at communication um, i'm feeling more confident and uh, I have a lot more to offer, um, something I never ever expected to have, I didn't think I'd make it this far. Um, I thought my life was going to go one of three ways, I was either going to end up um, in a hospital somewhere, um, in a prison cell, or uh, on a slab, um, I did not imagine that I would be here and um, be able to offer what I do today. I finished with my initial volunteering at my place and um, they offered me a position to be a vo more permanent volunteer um, and it, it's been brilliant. Um, it still it helps me develop so I'm still growing and uh, every week it, it's a joy. Um, I love what I've got to offer people and I love what people offer me. Uh, it reminds me of where I've come from and um, the, the struggles that I've had in my early days. And uh, to be
be able to jump in that pit with people and show them a way out, it, it's so rewarding and uh, I hope to continue it. As I say, it's, it's a journey, it's not a destination. Um, I'd like to um, possibly go back to college. I'm looking eventually to get into full-time education, <laughs> employment. Um, I feel these skills are very transversal. They um, they will help me in future, in my future endeavours. Um, and it's given me a keen sense of what I want to do, which is to help other people um, and commit to that kind of lifestyle. So thank you, my place.